So won't you come out here with me And chase this Rocky Mountain freedom But that my high air you're breathing Wind you where the river rolls Alright guys, this is Cody with Off Grid Mountain Life uh, This is my first video um, you know, my wife and I bought our home back in 2020 and it's been off grid, uh, from the get go, um, when we bought it and, you know, all the things that we've had to deal with over the years, I, I wish I would have done this earlier. Um, you know, cause I, I rely on a lot of YouTube channel stuff for off grid and just different kind of around the house things that you run into. You know, we're an hour from town and, and uh you know being off grid and everything that we've got here it's it's challenging to say the least and you know i i, I just kind of want to pay it forward a little bit um because some of the stuff that i deal with i have to search a lot for and i can't imagine i'm the only one so um today i guess to move forward on some of the some of the stuff i want to go over the main thing i want to talk about right now is i uh, just got a new battery bank um so I have a uh, 48 volt off grid uh, outback power um, inverter setup, charge controllers. Uh, and I got solar array, pole mount outside, and uh, some on the roof. And I've got a flood um, uh, flooded lead acid battery bank, a 48 volt, um, and it's getting tired and it's not keeping up. We just finished the basement. And it, tell we just finished the basement down here and it's requiring a lot more power and um you know i did some research and instead of getting you know the real expensive thirty thousand dollar battery bank that's lithium ion um i found this life power four this is an eg4 it's called life power four um and you know it it i already started a little bit this is the rack started putting it together um, some of the other videos I saw from this setup uh, had different type of casters. I'm pleased that this has the heavy duty, you know, um, plastic, hard plastic casters. Some of the other ones I saw on the earlier uh, racks of this from Signature Solar, that they were kind of uh, light duty at first. And then they had these weird ones with like lock rings and they're real small wheels. I'm happy that these are nice, big, heavy duty wheels. Only thing I got after getting these put up, um, you know, I noticed these locks are really tight. So, I mean, once I get this thing flipped over, it's going to be kind of hard to reach in there. But, I mean, it's not like I'm going to be rolling this thing all over the place. So, but it all came up in, in one pallet, you know, FedEx dropped it off. I had to wheel it all in by hand, which was kind of a pain. But these are the six batteries that it came with, and they look packaged really well. You know, like I said, I just opened up the the rack not too long ago and um, had the wheels hanging in there with all the hardware. Came with some real nice um, uh, hardware where it's got a flat washer, lock washer, and then it's got a serrated nut on the inside. And some of these were kind of hard to get to. As you can see back in the back, well, maybe not. It's kind of dark, but um, they're real tight up in the back corner here. But uh, just with a little finesse, you know, like some finger extensions, <laughs> you get it. But uh, got them all tightened down, and I'm going to flip it over, and then uh, I guess we'll, we'll do some unpackaging on these batteries, get them set up. All right, well, I think we're going to pull these uh, batteries down and unpack them and put them in the, the rack. Showed you earlier with the... It was upside down before, got it right side up here with the casters and everything. Rolls pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with it. So let's unpack this and see how they look. All right, this thing was packaged pretty good. Looks, uh, looks pretty good. Comes with covers on the Terminals here, the plastic covers, had the link cables. Looks like it has extra um, mounting bolts, even though even though in here um, they've already got 
these in there and then also they came with this bag here but uh hey you know extra is better than none so um see if we can slide this in see how it fits it actually came with these I need to put these on first um these are the ears so we can mount that in so we'll attach those and we'll slide her in all right so we got the first one in but like the other videos that i saw the uh these spring nuts are not in the right position um so i'm gonna mark where this is at and then uh We'll replicate it for all the other ones going up. Hopefully they all line up and we can screw them in. So I pulled it out there. I marked it with a, with a um, pencil and I moved these. This is where they were at before. So you can see how far they were off. Um, and I'm gonna actually you know, pick these up. So when I marked them, I had to pick it up to get it to align. So I'm gonna go here and then match the other side which is the second one up like that so we got second up from the bottom and then third down from here so um, I'm gonna check I'm gonna set this one at the same as this slide in that one battery so I don't have to do every single one Cause that's a lot of in and out there um but i'm going to see if matching this here and then sliding the battery in if it matches if it's if it does i'll do it for all of them um otherwise i have to put a battery in every slot mark it pull them all out which i really don't feel like doing because i'm doing it by myself so let's see so that worked i did the same spacing here and there and it looks like they line up so do that for the rest of them and then I can slide them all in with no problems. So ran into a little issue here, um, trying to screw these in. So I've got this one battery out, but I've got these all the way back and it looks like now it's pushing back because I've got this one in. But look at these bolts. So this is what um, came in the bag and it had all of them in the bag with the rack. And then I took this, this is actually a spacer. So here's the spacer took the spacer off to make it longer. And then that's what I got this one to catch on because I couldn't get the other ones in because they were too, uh, it was too far out of, of here. It was hitting the back mesh and I couldn't push the battery in far enough to get it to where it would catch. But now that it looks like I, I put one of the bolts in without the, that collar, this collar, it was able to catch and I pulled it in and I think it pushed that back mesh enough to where these other batteries will get aligned. But if they don't, I'll have to take this washer off of every one of these to make it longer. And then what's funny too, remember I told you earlier that it came with each battery came with a pack of four of the nut. So here's the bag of the nut and the, the screw, but look how much shorter that is. I mean, I, you really wouldn't be able to get it with that. So it's just funny how different it all is. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out. If you guys get frustrated, I think I'm going to be able to get it now since I got the one to catch, I'll probably throw in this one too with a um, with this one that I took the collar off. And I think that would push that back enough to where all these will at least go flush enough to where I can get the ones with the collars in and then I can redo these. So, yeah. Okay, got it all buttoned up um, mostly. So some of these 
Um, like this one, I wasn't able to get in because it didn't align. Um, so I got three in this one. This one took four, four. That one took three, that one took two, and the top one took two. Um, just because they didn't line up right. And um, I was able, like I mentioned prior, I was able to use the ones with the spacers after I used the ones without the spacers to pull it in, um, except for the tops. The tops I had to use no spacers because I think it was so close to the top of the rack that uh, it wouldn't give enough. So, so yeah, but I mean, this thing's not gonna be doing any off-roading. So um, just these, are, it's just made so those don't pull out or, you know, if it, for whatever reason tips forward or whatever it doesn't it does none of these batteries actually come out and hit the hit the door um and as i mentioned before these are the the wheel locks and they were a pain to engage um so that's that's disengaged so it'll move and that one's engaged i had to get a wrench and kind of squeeze it in between and like pry it down to get it to to snap which once you get this thing set, you shouldn't really have to do those, but I just wanted to show you those. So that one doesn't want to want to disengage. I'll have to deal with that one later. But uh, yeah, looks pretty sharp. Um, haven't uh, cycled anything on yet. Uh, like I said, I'm not ready for it. I got to move a bunch of stuff in our in our power room uh, slash water room, which will be part of another video. But yeah, I just wanted to go over this rack and overall, I think it went pretty good. I mean, um, you know, some of the other videos were able to address the the issues and, and I had some, but not others, kind of a mixed bag. But overall, I think it's, it's a, a pretty good rack here. I can't wait to get it hooked up, but that's going to be a little bit. Got to go through a few more things, so... Now I gotta dispose of all the trash. I swear cardboard just grows, grows out our ears over here with everything uh, from finishing the basement to getting stuff like this. So, all right, next video we'll, uh, we'll update this thing with the new software, firmware, um, probably connect them, do a, a cycle, just make sure that they're all working and, uh, and then we'll get it hooked up to a system. So, thanks.